Hello, my beloved brothers and sisters. I want to share something with you that is very important regarding what happens to you in the spiritual realm if you watch pornography and how you can be free from it. So, the thing is, there are a lot of people who are caught up in this scene. There are a lot of people who are caught up in this scene. But Jesus wants you to know that you can be free. He wants to set you free and it's possible. Satan can lie to you that you will never be free. And Satan can lie to you that it's impossible to get out of it. But Jesus wants you to know that you can be free today. And that's what I'm going to be talking to you about. So when a person watches pornography and when a person engages in masturbation that person in the spiritual realm gets married to a demonic spirit or to demonic spirits it, you can get married to one demonic spirit or even to several if you're a man you can get married to female demonic spirits or even to male demonic spirits and it's the same with a woman who watches pornography you get married to male demons and to female demons sometimes as well these demons are going to start to destroy your physical life because you have given them a legal hold they didn't force themselves in your life but you open the door and then you invited them in. And once they come in, they keep you bound. They keep you in bondage. They tie you down. And their whole aim is to get you into hell. They are going to continue, they are going to continue trying to make you fall into the sin over and over for you to renew that demonic covenant. And that is why a lot of people are struggling to let go of this sin. And this is the reason why many of this, many of the people who engage in this sin, they experience so many setbacks and they experience demonic attacks that they don't know originated from the door that they had opened to the enemy. When you let Satan into your life, his mission is to destroy you and to kill you and to take you to hell. So when you get married to these demonic spirits in the spiritual realm without you even knowing it, they are going to, to, to make sure that they destroy you. They marry you not because they love you. They marry you to destroy you and to block you from true happiness. Like you, you, you're going to struggle in your marriage. Some people don't get married. Some do get married. But they, their marriage experiences a lot of attacks because of this door that they have opened and because they are married to demons in the spiritual realm. And they are going to experience a lot of setback that they don't know originated from these demons, whether in their work or in any other areas of success. They are going to experience it. And then they, a lot of people find it very hard to break free. The reason is because it's a covenant. It's an agreement. It's a legal agreement. It's more like you have declared in the spiritual realm that I'm willing to be bound. Okay, you have declared to the demons, I'm willing to be bound. I'm willing to be your slave. I'm willing to, to be married to you. And because of that declaration that you have made in the spiritual realm, that is why it's very hard for you to break free from it. It's a covenant. And only the blood of Jesus can break you free from that covenant. So there are so many people who are so hopeless because they think that it's all done. Like they can never be free from that. You can be free. But the way that you can be free is you need to renounce that covenant that you made. Because you willingly declared in the spiritual realm without you saying any words, but because of your actions, you had willingly proclaimed that you're opening a door to Satan. You want to be his slave. You want to belong to him. 
So you can't just walk out and say, oh, I'm done. I will never watch pornography again. Tomorrow you're going to watch it. And the next day you're going to watch it. Because you are a slave. You are chained down. So how can you break free? Because the Lord wants you to be free. You need to make a renunciation. You need to pray a prayer of renunciation of that demonic covenant that you made. Firstly, the Bible says resist the devil and he will flee from you. Resist him. If you don't resist him, you are never going to be free. How do you resist him? You get rid of all those things that were encouraging you to engage in that sin. For example, secular music. The majority of secular music, all secular music is a sin. But the majority of secular music encourages sexual immorality and inv invites those demons of fornication, demons of adultery to come and possess a person and cause them to behave in a way that is adulterous or in a way of, of, of fornication. And so get rid of secular music, get rid of secular movies, get rid of secular movies because you are feeding your flesh, you are growing those demons and, and your chains are going to be growing stronger and they're going to keep you going back to your sin every time. Get rid of all those things, of those immoral things. Now you need to break free from those covenants. Some of the covenants that people uh, that people establish even with spiritual spouses is through their immoral act even though they may not have watched pornography but by engaging in fornication in the sin of fornication some people have invited spiritual spouses by doing that because that is a sin you are creating an unholy covenant with someone who is not your husband who is not your wife and that, that unholy covenant is backed up by demons. And in the spiritual realm, demons get married to you. And the result of that is that you're going to face a lot of spiritual battles, all meant firstly to block you here in your earthly life, in your earthly progress, uh, and to block your relationship with Jesus when you want to, to draw close to Jesus because you have all these chains pulling you back. You want to go forward and get close to Jesus, but all these chains are going to be drawing you back, getting you closer to hell because Satan doesn't want you to be free until you die and go to hell. That's his aim. But the Son of Man came that you may be free and free indeed. Get rid of anything connected to the kingdom of darkness. Get rid of all those things that were connecting you. Get rid of all those unholy relationships when you repent of fornication. For example, cut off that relationship. Don't say we're just going to be friends. Cut it off. If your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. That's what the Bible says. So cut off those unholy relationships. And then you need to go in prayer. And mind you, the Bible says that there are some demons that only go out by prayer and fasting and therefore i advise people who want to break free from uh, from the sin of pornography and people who are who are being attacked by spiritual spouses i advise them to engage in prayer and fasting because there's more power when you're praying and fasting because you're completely yielding your flesh to the submission of god and when you engage in that fasting, you can do a one day fast or two or three, it's up to you. But when you engage in that fast, make sure that you repent of your sin. Repent of your sin, ask the Lord to help you, ask the Lord to forgive you because the Lord will forgive you no matter how many times you've fallen. The Lord still loves you and the Lord is willing to forgive you. And then engage in a prayer of renunciation. You need to renounce those demonic covenants that were created. You need to declare it with your mouth that you're rejecting those demonic spirits. Even without someone laying hands on you, you can be free if you engage in these prayers. Renounce them. You, you need to declare that you're renouncing the demons of pornography. You need to declare 
that you are renouncing the demons of masturbation. You need to declare that you are renouncing the demons of sexual immorality. You need to declare that you are denouncing those demonic covenants that were made regardless of how they were made. You need to renounce that you are divorcing those demons and that your body is being given to the Lord Jesus. So once these demonic covenants are broken, don't go back and start feeding your flesh. That's why Jesus said, if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. If When Jesus sets you free, don't go back and start watching immoral music. You're going to fall back in your own pit. Not because Jesus failed to set you free. His blood is sufficient. His blood is strong enough to set you free no matter what you're struggling with. As long as you are willing. I remember some time back, my husband shared with me something that he had read. I don't know if it was a book or something, but it was about uh, history of Christianity. You know, when, when, Christ, when Christianity just began in Israel. And then my, what my husband shared with me is the Christians, the early church, what they used to do is when a person gets born again, when, when a person believes in Jesus and accepts Jesus as their Lord and Savior, then they would go to a place of prayer. And then they would go and spend so much time in prayer and in fellowship with the Lord until their desire for sin completely just died. Until their desire for sin just completely never existed. So how many, how many times have you been to the Lord? How much time have you spent in the presence of the Lord seeking for him to deliver you from that yoke? of fornication, of pornography, of masturbation, for you to think that Jesus cannot set you free. Jesus can set you free, but the reason that you're not free is because you have been spending so much time feeding your flesh and you have been starving the spirit. So you are in your chains willingly. You may say, I have tried so many times to break free from this, I really want to be free. I don't know what's wrong. I always keep falling back in my sin. It's because you have not crucified the flesh. Jesus said, if any man wants to come after me, you need to take up your cross and follow him. You need to crucify your flesh. What is the cross for? It's for crucifixion. Jesus didn't say, let the person who wants to come to me, let him be crucified. He, needs, he said, you do it. He didn't say someone else will come and crucify you on that cross that Jesus wants you to carry. Jesus says you have the responsibility to crucify your flesh. You are not just going to sleep and just sit and then someone somewhere is just going to appear and then pull, and then crucify you for your flesh and crucify your flesh and then all of a sudden your spirit is free. You have to do it. Crucifixion is a very painful death. It's death of the flesh. And that crucifixion of the flesh only happens when you're in the place of prayer. As long as you're just running about your life and saying, Oh, I don't know. I'm so addicted to pornography. Oh, I don't know. I'm so stuck in my sin. I'm, I'm a fornicator. I'm doing this. I just can't be free. I'm drinking. I'm smoking. I just can't be free. It's because you have not crucified it no one is going to crucify the flesh if your flesh is still alive there's only one person to blame and that is you because jesus didn't say i when you when you believe in me then i need to come and crucify the flesh when you believe in jesus the thing that jesus does is he gives you the desire to be holy and that is the reason why you feel like i need to let go of my sin but jesus has left the choice up to you whether you need to whether you want to act on that or not and once you take up a step to say, I need to crucify my flesh, Jesus will give you the grace. Jesus will give you the strength to do it. But Jesus is not to blame if your flesh is still alive. His blood is strong enough to wash you of every sin. His blood is powerful enough 
to save you from every bondage. His grace is sufficient. When you are willing, when you yield yourself to the Holy Spirit, He pours out the anointing. He pours out the anointing that breaks the yoke, that just breaks the chains. And you are going to be free indeed. So it's all up to you. Do you want to live a, life, a relaxed life without making an effort to be free from your sin and end up in hell? Or do you know and realize the sacrifice Jesus made for you by dying on that cross of Calvary such that you make up your mind to say pornography, masturbation, fornication, adultery, drinking, smoking, drug addiction are not enough to keep me from Jesus. Jesus loves you in your sin but if you die in sin you will go to hell despite Jesus loving you. So act on that desire to be free. Break free from the chains. Break demonic covenants because you open them willingly. Break free from your chains because if you are willing, God is going to do it. God bless you.